welcome to YouTube Space Durian Rider. How does Durian Rider get so much pussy? We got some Martini is a rescue cat. Martini's a little bit rambunctious this morning. Martini's a rescue cat. There's so many great rescue cats out there. So how does Durian Rider get so much pussy? The world is dripping in pussy, all right? So I don't recommend buying pussy. I recommend letting pussy come into your life and adopting pussy because there's so many cats out there who don't have a, a loving home. So Martini is a, a beautiful little puss, aren't you, Maddie? Yeah. Get a claw of daddy's face on the camera for me. I'm just putting it in here, he can do what he wants. He wants to jump. Never try and, uh, what's the word? If pussy wants to come to you, pussy comes to you, don't chase pussy. If you chase pussy, look at that, Martini. Just a happy cat. Uh, so yeah, there's plenty of uh, adoption options out there. This is a two-part video for the guys out there who are like, oh, how to get pussy. I'll, I'll, I'll give a little bit to you guys as well. You know, I know you come I click on the video like that. And for the cat lovers, <laughs> my teen is not going to, he's about to spray on my leg right down here now. Um, so yeah, for the cat lovers as well, we'll give a little bit of a martinis. He's a seal point, apple face, Siamese little boy. Now I've got my cat allergy girl on here. These jerseys are going to be sold so quick. I sold so quick. Anyway, so let's get a start. First part of the video, wrap it up. Why not adopt? You know, so many stray cats out there. Give them to sex because you want a cat. There's millions and billions of cats out there. Same with dogs as well. You know, so I don't believe in supporting the pet shop trade of buying cats and dogs. And there's so many out there getting euthanized every day. All right, so do your bit. Adopt, don't pop. Adopt, don't shop. Martini's quite rambunctious right now. Anyway, so the second part of the video, the, the, the guys are going, I want to get pussy, blah, 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 blah. Doing riders, you know. Doing riders like, you know, blah, 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 blah. I mean, there's a lot of videos uh, about me online people critiquing me or supporting me or hating on me or loving me or whatever and that's just you know it goes with the territory over 300 million views on youtube and the cat fight there uh so that comes with, it goes with it you know so a lot of guys say oh you've only you only can get pussy because um you know you've got fame status money things like that and that is that is definitely true that is a big attract to women love status women love money women love, more importantly, a guy who has social connections, social status, social approval, or even social disapproval, uh, social, just social status, the good boy or the bad boy, or the helpful boy or the whatever, the rock star, things like that. So women are attracted to that element for sure. So how do you get that? that anyone can have that. That comes with time though, and hard work and dedication. And a bit of luck as well, a bit of luck as well, because uh, how long can we talk in this video for? How long can we talk in this video for? So, they're, they're the traits women love. Uh, women chime in down below. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. I've got this cat, uh, cat fur allergy kicking in pretty hard now. <sighs> Any natural remedies for that? Don't touch your nose, I guess. And uh, so, women also love a guy who's present, who's conscious, and who's attentive. Conscious meaning, you know, responsible, conscious choices. Attentive meaning, you know, maybe little hairs out or your feeling or your mood or just you know little little details and they love a guy who's present in the moment who's not thinking about the past too much or not in the future too much who's very present in the moment a little bit of awareness of the past a little bit of awareness of the future but also very present attentive present conscious probably yeah, the probably most, three most important traits women love apart from the other stuff so guys you can have all the other stuff but not have attentiveness presence or consciousness, consciousness to make the right choices, conscious person making the right choices in life, present meaning like really here now, grounded, you're not talking to someone and thinking about the shopping list or next to neighbors argument you had last week where you're talking to them, they don't feel your presence, they're like, well, who's the fuck, what's this guy, you know, like, well, who's this, you know, so these things are really, or attentive meaning like, you know, uh, picking up on the little signals women are giving you, you know, attentive. You know, understanding what's going on there, Cut, maybe the carb depleted or whatever, or the cycle, or the mood, or the vibe, or things like that. So those things, attentiveness, presence, consciousness, work on those guys, work on those fucking every moment of the day. <laughs> you can read stuff about David Data as well. But anyway, speaking of books, do you have that ebook? Still writing it at the moment. 
about relationships. It's a book that I wish I had when I was a 20-something guy or even a teenager. And it's a book that's going to help you with your relationships with your women out there in your life. Could be your mum, could be your girlfriend, your wife, could be your sister, could be any female out in your life. It will definitely be a game changer for that. A game changer for that. And I'm sure there'll be people out there, there'll be guys out there who will get my ebook. It'll be so devastatingly effective, and they'll use that to manipulate and. Uh, yeah, certain women in certain negative ways to get what they want out of them. So that that'll be a that'll be an unfortunate one, but I'm not sure how you prevent that. You know, I'm not sure how you prevent that. Just like there's been people out there who have used my YouTube tips and become millionaires or making bank, and some of these people have turned around and put the knife into Duranita's back. So I think it just comes to the territory. Good people are going to be good, and bad people are going to be bad. And you shouldn't prevent good people from being better by limiting the information on those people because you're worried about the bad people becoming even worse. Yeah. That's just how it is. It's like, yeah, anyway. Um, so a lot of people will uh, agree with what I've got to say. Some will disagree with it. That's how it is. But this stuff just fucking works. And it's great. You just ask women about it. You know? Ask women about it. You know, not, not many women out there really speak publicly of what they want in a guy. It's fucking crazy, isn't it? Not many women really put it out there because they're scared of that social criticism going guys or whatever. So it, it's, it's incredible that most women out there will be able to tell you exactly what they want in a guy, how he behaves, everything. But women for some reason are very shy or scared about really opening up what they really want. You know? So <laughs> there's a massive market out there for women to be coaches for guys on what, you know, on what uh, women want in guys. But it, that market is like, it's not almost non-existent. It's just it's guys teaching guys what women want. In my opinion, it should be women teaching men what women want from the truth, and vice versa. It should be actually it is happening. Well, guys t teaching women what guys want. Um, so that market is is really pretty untapped, and it, I think it's a very important market, not just for making money, but more importantly, building relationships between women because there's so much division right now. All this Brett Kavanaugh stuff and Me Too movement and the Harvey wine season and stuff like that. Even there's a beta cut guy uh, making videos about me on occasion, spending his the life dedication, <laughs> his hardest, biggest job ever done was making documentaries about Duran Rider and the fact that his wife slept with me back in Chiang Mai in 2015 when I was single at the time uh, because she was thinking she was going to become the next, you know, famous YouTube vlogger or whatever. So she slept with me and uh, she slept with a couple of my mates as well after me. Um, Understanding, I didn't really want to do anything much to do with it after that. So, and she lied to her husband about it, who's he's now he's now her husband, and so he made a whole documentary series about that. So, it, a lot of guys will get triggered as well once you start getting really good, or you know, I shouldn't say really good with women because that sounds a little bit like pickup artist style, doesn't it? Once you start really understanding more what women want, they want a friend, a boyfriend, a fuckboy, a mentor, a provider, an alpha who's attentive, present, and conscious, and if you can get, meet those needs, then bye-bye competition, bye-bye exes or memories or whatever, because you'd just be like, bam, this woman would be like, fuck, where did you come from? Where did you come from? So it's pretty, pretty powerful stuff. And you'll get guys, white knights out there, or jealous guys, who will just be like, making, hope, hopefully, hopefully guys out there, you become a person of status so much that a woman will sleep with you behind her husband's beta cuck husband's back and then lie about it to his face and then he'll find out about it and be so angry at you not at his wife or him no not even his, not even his wife's fault it's his fault he's such a a mummy or daddy's boy living on mummy daddy's money with no real skills other than just to pay pay money you know or give it a bit of companionship dude like they didn't have money no one would know about it. It's so boring and like draining. It's like, oh my god. But you can buy air tickets and pay for all the hotels and stuff. So, you know, most women would go for that. Not women, I should say, but it's almost a bit of a prostitution deal. Which I got nothing wrong with prostitution, you know. But if your uh, woman marries you because of money, some people would say that's like a bit of a prostitution deal. Um, that's another video. But anyway, so you'll get guys like that who have wives, aka. What can I say? Hookers or what? I don't, again, I don't think that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's a thing that it is. And then they'll get jealous of a guy who doesn't give her money, 
but she's attracted to him because of all the other you know, personal uh, attributes, etc. Am I, am I sounding a bit narcissistic right now? Do I need to be unmasked? <laughs> What's going on here? But that's the reality. That's the reality. So, you know, you, when you're a 20 something guy or a teenager, you think it's just muscles, it's muscles. And that, that definitely helps a lot as well. But, you know, it, it's. Uh, that's more like a stage one sort of level of relationship, which a lot of guys are keen for. A lot of guys, are, they, just, they just want pussy. They can't get pussy any other way, so they'll either buy it for prostitution or you know, find a girl and just give her heaps of money and buy her air tickets around the world or whatever as prostitution deals so they can have sex consistently or on tap because otherwise they're so boring and so fragile and beat up they can't get any other way. So they have to buy it, which is, again, which is fine because it's, it serves, you know, the woman wins, she gets a gets the free deal and, and the guy wins because he gets gets the puss so it's not a bad thing necessarily because it helps meet the void for people who don't have money people who do have money and then they can meet up and, and, and enrich each other's moment but it's a bit of a stage one relationship for me it's not really built on other than money and sex and if relationships just built on money and sex then you go to really question the existence on the planet in my opinion and what really motivates and drives you as a human and what's the legacy you're leaving behind what, what do you live for each day? Is it just money and sex? I mean, I've been there, done that. It's fucking empty and meaningless. You know, that's, that's me back in uh, back in the early 2000s. You know, that's what, that was the main drive. But then I was like, quickly got tired of that. I was like, it's got to be something more life. And for me, it's about serving other people, helping. Right, the car just cut out to clear some more space. So yeah, legacy, man. Like. Look at all the superstars out there, celebrities on coke ad addictions and prescription med addictions and just, they're getting, they've got so much sex, so much money, but they're just so fucking empty and they're just chasing more and more crazy shit. To make 10 million bucks, let's make 50 million, make 50 million, let's make 200 million. And it's just like, you know, it's crazy. Bang one chick a day, let's do 10. It's just, it gets, it gets crazy. And these people are some of the most empty people you're ever gonna meet in your life because they're just so out of balance. It's too extreme and it's too, there's no, there's no core essence there, there's no core message. It's just like sex and money and that's all that matters. And for a lot of people like, yeah man, that's, that's all I give a fuck about too, bro. And uh, <laughs> fuck man, then you're gonna be a sad, sad, sad person in life in that moment because you're always gonna be chasing validation for your money or validation of who you can bang, etc., etc., and stuff like that. And I've been there, done that. So we're gonna say to people, the, the greatest, for me, driving life is you know, helping the environment, helping the planet, helping the animals, spreading that fucking vegan message far and wide. And I definitely troll, and I do use sex and money to clickbait, to lure people in, to get people going, wow, this shit, okay, yeah, yeah. Because everybody wants to feel good, and people want more money and more sex for attention and validation because it makes them feel good. But we live on planet Earth, and what the fuck are we doing to the planet, man? in our pursuit for sex and money. We're cutting down rainforests, we're just polluting the fuck out of the water, we're killing each other, we're doing crazy shit in our pursuit for more money, more sex, more validation, more feel-good hormones in the body. I say let's chase a little bit of money and a little bit of sex maybe, but let's have this planetary awareness where we're fucking looking after the environment and we're, you know, we're building status on who's not the best fucking fake orchestrated manufactured singer but who's the best person at planting more trees or getting more people inspired to go vegan or things like that it's these things that really fucking mean a difference in the planet you know who wants to be an Olympic athlete just you know with no real message man oh you're an athlete like, you're really good at swimming or cycling or running yeah it's cool but like where's the message other than like look at me I'm really fucking fit and fast I mean that's a cool discipline to have but what how does it really help the planet yeah. Are we another producer of great content or great inspiration? Or we're just a consumer draining the planet of its resources versus producing content, producing the goodness out there. It's a big question people ask yourself. So, yeah, it's like, if I die today, I've still got thousands of people out there spreading that message, doing it, you know, minimizing their plastic bag usages, adopting animals, being vegan or more vegan or vasectomies, all that, riding bikes and stuff like that. It's a legacy you leave behind. So what is your legacy on the internet? You use the internet, are you just a consumer or a producer? I saw on Facebook yesterday, you know, from a, a guy who I inspired to get on the internet, he said, are you a consumer or a producer? And that's a great question. So are we producing better people around us? Are the people around you, are you, you producing better things from them? Or are you just consuming from them, taking, robbing people of, of stuff? 
So think about it, the, what, what vibe are you creating? So it's, uh, it's fuck out creating my nose. It's creating it. an itchy vibe. So yeah, get out there and get up people's noses, man. Yeah, get them inspired to take action uh, by inspiration versus 